I like it. I, I like Cray here. He's got the Tiger Claw. You know, he's ready to go, but let's see if he can bring that Tiger Claw into game one. This is WCG, the final set, the grand finals for MLBB. Evo's Icon taking on Echo Proud in a best of five, Dave. Oh, here we go. On oh, the, the anti-defense invade, JP still want to walk in. You're being hit by two people. He's already down to 40%. Is it probably going to pop the flicker against you? Well, but... Oh Trax. my god, is he going to die here? Is JP going to go down one more hit? First blood. Going out of Eldora. We see that happen a lot to JP, don't we? Yeah, I mean, uh, this is just weird though. Like, there are two people in your face that you saw from miles away. Right? You saw them come in, and they still forced it, right? Like, if you don't force it, oh, Zelda, the, Zyla doesn't have the red tree anymore. What's yeah, gonna happen? On the minion. He feels comfortable oh. though. He still gets the orange buff, but JP still in a little bit of trouble once again. Terrified, locked up. Man Strong gonna try to go for the finish here. JP just Ooh. having a rough time. Wait to petrify the knockup. Oh. It's gonna be bad for Cry. Cry does take out JP, but will take a tower shot and fall. James able to pick up the kill. Van Strong, of course, use the flicker just to get away, but Zyda, James is gonna try to cut him off here. He's gotta go through it. Can they make it in time? James making the dash in, in the lockdown. Looking for the final. All Zyda needs to fire one crab claw cannon and you can get Ooh. it. Will he make it? No! He misses by a hair. And Veldor takes out James in the midst of this. Meanwhile, while you're laser focused on one target, at what cost? So on the other side of the, you know, the little team fight there, you have a Veldora just free hitting onto James the whole time. Now, James didn't even get a chance. He was trying to chase down the Ruby, but look at what happens when you try to laser focus when you have narrow vision down to one person. You know, you have James who's still level three at turtle spawning, and Zelda is already getting harassed. But Zyda already getting harassed by Veldora. Listen, we're two minutes in and this is messy. This is a dirty game right now and I'm feeling it. And I'm liking it. This is brawlish and I'm ready Ooh. to see where this ride takes us. Veldora Ooh. getting low. Fragra on my house. Susan takes a turtle. Veldora still gets away. Now James on the run. Zyda able to use a deadly catch, but it does not save James today. James will fall. That's a two. Wait a second. Make it a two because Outplay gets taken out by Dome on the boss side. Evo Psycon coming in game one for revenge. Wow, they come in and swing it. 2,000 gold ahead already. And then look at the bottom side. Brody gonna get so much hit onto the tower here. And that's the thing, right? This is the strategy that I didn't understand. From coming from Echo Proud initially, it seemed like a hybrid. There wasn't like too much clear understanding of where they're going. And then the play style is also a little bit like interesting. Do I say? Because I couldn't understand the decision making, especially with JP, he died twice. And then both of the deaths can be evaded. It's not like he had to die or he had tried to tank some damage, soak up some skills to protect his teammates. He just wanted to do stuff on his own. And it's it's very interesting because it's not paying now for Team Echo Proud right now. Now, skill into the late game, they do have Zyda, they do have the Beatrix, they do have the Franco, right? If they lock somebody down, they can instantly kill somebody. Especially after Beatrix finished the core items, finished the Blade of Despair, the Malefic Roar. I mean, Hunter Strike, this this might, this, there's still a chance for Echo Proud, but Evil Psycom definitely looking dominating right now. Yeah, I mean, we've seen Zyda on this, uh, on this Whoa. vein before. They used it up against Echo Loud, up, up against Echo Loud, and they, it was when I was saying they were just, they had the perfect reactions. Um, yeah. So, they need to start pulling that together. I think once we get into the mid game around seven minutes, some things could change, as long as they don't let this gold lead get too far away from them. The Evo Psycon want to try to take the advantage. Well, they have a Veldor in a bad spot, forced to use the last insanity to get away, but that does still help him get away. Ooh, nice escape. Nice decision to use the ultimate. Sometimes you just have to decisively pop the ult, you know, because if you wait a little bit longer, they could just burst it, and if they burst it, then you're sitting duck. You know, you have, then you have to waste the flicker. So you just have to decide which one is more valuable. Uh, Xbox Ultimate or Xbox? Oh, here we go. Oh, nice play. Down oh, goes Sutagen. Wait, the final slash pushes Kryde in. Kurt is able to pick it up. Doma using the lock up. Van Strong in a little bit of trouble though. Echo Proud biting back right now. Looking for the fight back once again. Torn apart memories goes off and James goes down. Nice hook. Goes a little bit too far to the right. It's two for one trade. Echo Ooh. Proud does come out on top there. JP once again popped off. When the team needed him the most, he stepped up. I love it. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh my god. Shotgun shells to the face. Outplay picking up a kill. 
outplayed. You know, never never cease to surprise us, right? He's done it over and over again. We talk about the mechanics. This is a character you can talk about mechanics. Oh, but bottom lane though, tracks. Fight continues. Locked on to Zyda. A little bit of trouble. Nibiru's passion does come out. Susujin still to pick up the kill. He wants more. He has a decimation. Make it a double. Moving on to the next target. They can clear this wave and maybe even push into this tower. It seems like both teams are continuously making mistakes of their own. Oh, <laughs> nice ultimate copy. I think he wanted the JP, but the copy that outplayed. And now the ultimate is just going to become wasted. So, that's what I was saying. I feel like this is a, such a dirty, you said dirty, it's such a good word to describe this game. It's so messy. And both teams are making a lot of mistakes right here. Overstaying their welcome over and over again. You had a good play coming off on JP, but then they wasted it. But before that, here we go, bottom side. Storm on JP. JP's gonna go down there, outplay, looking for something, but can't connect. Evo Psycon finding a little power spike of their own, and they wanna move in. They wanna take this tower here, Dave. Yeah, not only do they have a clear decision-making where they want, like, on their picks. Oh, here we Just go. Just keep <gasps> going, the Dave. No talking today. Doma pops off the torn apart memories, finds Cartesi. Outplay goes down as well. Two for one trade and a good trade, Evo Psycon. I'm eating my own words here, Frank. You know. <laughs> Oh, oh, they just wait, keep wait. going. They just <laughs> keep, keep going. going. Zyda might just be next. Decimation comes in, and that's a killing spree for Susan. <sighs> 12 to 5 at six and a half minutes. Oh my god, what is this game? It's keep on getting messy and messier. Like, what is going on? And by the way, it. before I talk about the, the, the game rotation, I, I want to say that this is. The, I, I'm eating my own words, right? The uh, Cried copied the Atrix Ultimate. And I thought that was a waste, but it turned out it was, he got it, he put it to good use. He got a kill out of it. You know, definitely used the ultimate from Beatrix properly and got a lot of burst damage. But now let's talk about what's important, which is the macro rotation, right? Like the team, both teams seem to be making a lot of mistakes. Over, overextending, waiting on her own, waiting solo, right? Zadov's done that twice and get punished twice. And he kept on doing it. You know, like it's just very, very interesting. Meanwhile, at the same time, it's not like Team Evo is not making a mistake of their own. You know, they overextended their welcome, and sure enough, they got punished pretty well, right? They, they kind of seized their momentum, uh, getting hooked, getting getting ulted by JP. So, over here, I think this game is who's going to make the least mistakes and win, to be honest. At this point. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, nice. I'm offended with the flicker. Deadly Catch comes out to try to force a disengage. Kurt Teasy has to use the Deadly Waves just to get away, but Evo's Icon continues to try to make these pickoffs. Whoo! So many playmakers this game. Arlot! Arlot! Arlot with the final slash, but he knews him right in the suppressor. Sujin goes down. Woo! Out comes the out comes the last of Sandy. They'll find Zyda. Now this purple buff should go to the side of Evo Psycon. Watch the fright hiding down this bush, waiting for someone to walk by. The hook does come in. Purple buff does end up going over to JP there, and he falls. Veldora with the unstoppable kill. But at least he saves the purple. Don't know if that was worth it, though. <laughs> Oh, he didn't get a, a hook under the under the players, but he did get a hook under the blue pop. Here we go. Here we go. All right, does have the Whoa. ultimate. Tried to flicker. Uses the rough waves. Still not enough damage though. But right now it's 14-6, 4,000 gold lead for Evo Psycon. And several towers taken. See, this is why this is what I like about Echo Proud. Outplayed has been outplaying this whole game. You know, like his mechanics. And then the way how he does the shotgun flicker, that requires really fast fingers. Probably the same level as when you play Fanny, to be honest, to, to execute it, because it's really hard. To try it in practice mode, you will know exactly what I'm talking about, right? It's really hard, because the auto attack is such a short animation time, and they pop a flicker on top of it uh, to make it surprising. It's just, it's, it, it takes a lot of practice. And outplay made it happen. So, there, and by the way, I'm not just making outplay, right? Wen Shuang has been doing pretty strong with the flicker, the hook flicker as well. There's not a flicker hook. He he ulted and then he flickered in, flicker forward. So Bo's team has a lot of playmaker this game. JP with the hooks with his ultimate. Um, now I think adding on top of the, who's gonna make least mistakes is no so who's gonna make more plays. It seems like Bo's team is all about the playmaking. Yeah, I like it. this is gonna be first Lord. We're nine and a half minutes in. Suchajin takes it. He echo proud. Doesn't even try to contest. But wait. They don't want to try to force a fight there, Suchajin. I don't know if he stole that purple or not, Dave. I don't think he did. I think no, Zeta, in the Zeta end, uses retry, so. Yeah, Zeta gets it. Because he wasn't going for the boot buff, so you got to use the blue somewhere. I'll use the retry somewhere. The purple buff. 
So here we go. Level 12, uh, Zyda versus level 13, Susujin. Susujin is one level ahead. You know, very, very standard Susujin level play. Oh, here we go. Ooh, using ah. the deadly catch just to clear the wave there. Ooh. Maybe that was a little bit too early. Gonna get some nice poke, and they still might lose the tower. Yeah. I mean, used all a little bit too early, and obviously there's no follow-up. All of a sudden, Echo Proud is playing full defense. Right, like they were playing our aggressive uh, not too long ago, and now they're playing full defense with the one lord. They're losing, they're losing tremendous amount of gold. I think this is like probably three, four thousand gold advantage from one lord already. Here we go. Mass comes JP out. JP uses the conceal play. Christ steals the deadly catch. Veldor into the backside. Uses the last insanity just to try to get out. Kright with the rough waves doing a little bit of damage oh, on Veldor. Final slash to push him under. This could be bad for the side of Evo's icon. Two or more towers pops. The knockups come in. They find Man Strong looking oh. for Veldor next, and they connect. Veldora goes down outplay with the shutdown. That puts him at three, two, and three. Doma, good job with the flicker out in time. Make sure he survives that. That was really good. Because when JP flickered in, I'm pretty sure he was going for Doma, knowing that everybody else is dead for sure. But all he got was one person. Tracks, I noticed recently a lot of teams have been making a lot of mistakes with tower dives, right? You've seen the tower dive to be, you know, when a team is playing messy already, uh, and when it comes to a high risk scenario, high risk environment, uh, especially the tower dive, probably the most high risk. Team Evo's icon is not prepared for it, right? The, the, the dive wasn't, wasn't really on point, and sure enough, they got heavily punished. So we're, we went from a 10,000 gold differential, now back to a 5,000 gold only. I mean, JP, now is Echo's time to leverage the discipline, leverage like what they've been trained for the most, which is cat like once you have a little bit of advantage, catapult and get more advantage. So. Back to 5,000 differential. This is looking better and better for Echo. As now Zyda scaling, outplay scaling. If they get a hook, if they get an ultimate, that person is dead for sure. No doubt about it. Most definitely. It's definitely not going to be easy, though, for Echo Proud still, right? I mean, they still have a long way to go if they want to try to do this. JP at 0, 4, and 5. I'd love to take a look at the items and see exactly where everyone's at right now. Outplayed is definitely a huge win condition, right? The damage needs to be there. We've seen it come up a little bit, but is it quite oh, there yet? Nice conceal play. Von Strong Ooh. looking for something. Watch, hey. there's a flicker. There's the I'm offended. And members start dropping. JP's the second. Immortality comes up. The Gears Pass trying to save the day, but it's not going to help today because Decimation is here. Sutrogen finds him. And that's a big play for Evo Psycon. It should give them nice priority over this Lord. One strong remains strong, should I say, you know? Um, right now, because of Echo's comp, they they have to play the back foot. They're waiting for JP's ult. They're waiting for JP's hook. Right, because the, the plays, the big plays being made, except for the first, I mean, I think the second turtle from JP, other than that, it's been James who's doing the plays. We've seen James jumping in with one slash and then all flicker, the final slash into the flicker into the back line. Kind of like what Ruby did when Strong did just now with Ruby, but a lot harder, a lot more flashy. So, yo, at this point, Team Evo has the momentum, right? And they have the comp. Ruby's already tanky for already tanky. Evo, Dora's already tanky. He's 5 on 5. They're stacking strong. Franco seems to be less and less effective if you not if you cannot land any hook. Yeah, he's gonna have to land something and not onto something like Suzujin. He can't land it onto Veldora. He can't even land it onto Van Strong. He's gotta try to find either Kright or Doma. They need to be able to handle one of these two damage dealers in the backside. But because of the composition they picked, right? Because they didn't pick for like a dive or roam, they have yeah. no way to really flank around the side. They have to do what they've done in the past for is, you know, let the enemy team come to them, try to catch them all up in deadly catch, you know, try to get a, a hook through the middle of the team. But they really, that's why they're playing this defensive route. They're waiting for Evo Psycon to come to them and hopefully take advantage of a slip up somewhere. Ooh, the slip up. This might be it. Daddy Cash being released. Franco looking for the hook, not gonna connect. Ooh, that's rough, because now bottom tower is for sure gone. Oh yeah, this is gonna be an enhanced lord. It crashes right through. Evo's icon still on the prowl. Moving their way, here comes the conceal play. Watch Man Strong, he's done it before. Oh, he hook. gets hooked in though, suppressed. They find him. Can he get oh, away? Ruby. No, the immortality pops Lord. Still up though. Van Strong still up as well. Oh. And no! The flicker, the I'm offended, and two members of Echo Proud Chop. JT and Curtizi sent to the grave. Evo Psycon 
Looking for more here. Oh, oh good nice flash. final slash. Pushing him under the base, under the tower, but it gets returned with a final slash from Kite's own. Four members dropping James all on his own now. And this will be it. Goes Icon Woo. coming back for revenge in game one.